I love the 10 meter band. I think the reason I love the 10 meter band so much is because it's right beside the 11 meter band. And CB antennas, man, from the time I learned about radio way back in the early 70s until now, there's always been some really cool CB antennas that you could use on 10 meters. And some of them are gimmicks. Some of them really look cool. I mean, I, I just put up a really cool looking antenna and it worked well recently. But um, there's this thing out here. It's called the uh, the Workman Wheel Kit Six Element Mobile Ground Plane, which, um, hey, you know what? It, it looks pretty cool. I put it on the bottom of an antenna. The problem with this thing is it goes on the antenna side of uh, of the antenna system so it's really not a ground plane you know i bought i bought this one from walcott radio i got it for like 16 17 dollars they're out there not real cheap either I mean, i've seen them the lowest i've seen them like 30 some dollars in a couple places and they say they're sold out uh amazon had them for 40 or 50 bucks but um they're out there and i i looked at it and i saw this thing i said is this thing a gimmick or is it real and uh I don't know. So I'm going to test it and, and see, you know, even on the Walcott uh, on their uh, their page when I bought this thing, it said, you know, hey, not sure how it works because it goes on the antenna side of the uh, of, of the system here. Uh, we're not sure either, but there are a lot of people claim they work and, and basically we're selling them. And that's written right there when you buy the thing from them. So um, kind of cool. They also said that these things have been around for years and uh, people have used them with success. I did a lot of research. I've, I go through a lot of old CB magazines and really look for for this. And I, I couldn't find anything. Did find a lot of interesting pictures, but um, I couldn't find anything on this uh, uh, six element ground plane uh, uh, per se. But um, you know what? It looks like to me. It looks just like a capacitive hat, and, and what a capacitive hat is for. It goes on the top of an antenna to ma make it longer, electrically longer. Um, and that is one thing that uh, it's kind of strange because that's what it looks like for the top of an antenna. On the bottom of an antenna, I don't know. There's formulas and everything out there of how they react at the top of an antenna and, and what they do. But um, I don't know. You know, there's one site, uh, The Workman, is sold as The Workman uh, Will Kit. Uh, and it says that it lowers the uh, the angle, the takeoff angle, which increases it as, as well. I don't know if this reacts on a mobile with... Uh, the body of the uh, of the car b b below it and helps that. I don't know, but I'm going to find out. I'm going to uh, put an antenna up. I've got a uh, Fire Stick 2 antenna. Stick it up real quick first here on my Jeep, and I'll run SWR on that first, and then put this underneath it and run SWR, see if there's any difference, if it does any uh, anything to the, uh, the sweep of the SWR where I want to use it at in a 10-meter band. Then, not real scientific, I'm going to get on and... Uh, and try to make some contacts with it. So let's see what the uh, the Will Kit Six Element Mobile Ground Plane. I hate calling it that, but whatever this contraption is, let's see if it works. Stick around. Okay, here's the antenna I'm going to use. Uh, tram, triple beam, triple magnet, mag mount. Uh, it's the Fire Stick 2. This is the uh, five foot long Fire Stick 2 here. I'm uh, right here in the neighborhood at the harbor here in Portsmouth, Virginia, looking out the cruise ship over there at uh, Norfolk. Uh, but this is what I'm gonna start with, and then we'll put the, uh, the unit underneath it. But let's just check. I'll get this thing tuned for where I want it, check SWR, and then we'll stick the, uh, the six element ground plane uh, device, is what we'll call it, and, uh, and see what that does after we check this. And here we go, using my uh, Zygu X5105. I jokingly call this my uh, antenna analyzer that doubles as a QRP rig, but um, got it set a little, I, I wanted to be a little off. I got the uh, SWR, uh, I'm at uh, 28.4 on the 10 meter band. I got the SWR at 1.2, so that's kind of on purpose for the sweep here. I want to see if I get any improvement at all. I didn't want it to be flat and uh, see if I get an improvement by adding the, uh, the unit at the bottom. So let's go do that. Okay, here we go. It's on there. I can say there's the fire stick too. And there it is, the uh, wheel kit. Six element ground plane or whatever. Uh, 
<laughs> I hate, like I said, I still hate calling it a ground. It's not a ground plane. It is some kind of device that we'll see. A um, little concerned, you know, the antenna actually lengthened by putting that on. So I think checking, the, comparing SWR might not be fair because I may need to tune it down. Uh, I don't know what I was thinking there, but that might happen as well. But um, yeah, it's barely uh, not much bigger than the mag mount below it. But um, there you go. Let me um, let me go in there now without doing anything. You know, with these, if you're not familiar with these antennas, the tip of these at the top here, that's a tunable tip. I can uh, shorten the antenna or lengthen it by uh, there's a screw at the top. I can go up and down with it. So uh, that's the fire stick. Um, these things are, are pretty good. I like this antenna a lot. So um, let me go inside now. We'll look at SWR before I do anything else to it. And yeah, SWR is up a little bit. Uh, it's actually 1.4 to 1 across that same sweet bit, which is still usable. Uh, I think it looks like we added a, a good uh, over an inch, probably about 27, 28 millimeters for you guys that are thinking in metric. But we, we lengthened the length. We made the antenna longer. So I'm going to try to tune it down a little bit more if I can, and then we'll get on the air and see how this thing works. Okay, got the SWR back to about 1.2 to 1, 1.3 to 1. Couldn't get the antenna down much more. It's as small as I can make it. Uh, remember, this is originally an 11-meter antenna. Um, I am using the uh, FT891, so we're going to try 100 watts into this thing. Uh, I do have a choke. That's the uh, LDG um one-to-one -one choke i did have that on also when i was checking swr so if anybody's asking or wondering um uh, life po 4 20 amp hour battery here and uh here we are let's uh let's see if we can make some contacts kilo four oscar golf oscar kilo four oscar golf oscar Uh, sorry, I take only kilo four. Kilo four again? Kilo four, Oscar. Germany, Oscar. Kilo four, Ocean, Germany, Ocean, that's correct. QSL, QSL, you are five five into uh, Norfolk, Virginia. Okay, okay, uh, Walter, okay, Walter. Thank you very much for answering my call. My pleasure to talk to you in the very first time. Your senior report is also 57585758 here in Chantel City. Your transmission is being allowed. Back to you, Walter. Kilo 4, Ocean, Germany, Ocean. Probably Alpha 3, Victor Alpha Kilo. Hey, 73, thank you. To give you give you an idea what the band's like, it is horrible. Not much going on here on 10. The fact that I uh, picked up and got those couple DX calls, pretty amazing. But uh, 10 meters is, 10 meters is, not too good right now. It really isn't. It's the noise down here. You can hear anything. But uh yeah. Rough. Okay, the band is dead. I'm gonna give up on it. Um opinion of this thing. Uh, is it uh is it legit? Is it a gimmick? Um yeah, I made a couple really decent i know it was hard to hear because the band was like the noise level in the band was so bad but i made a couple of dx contacts when that band was absolutely crap but um did that make it happen probably not i'm gonna say it's somewhat of a gimmick um but you know i i've looked at a lot of reviews and people you know mostly 11 meter cb people swear by them so Maybe I'll try it and give it another chance when the band's really hopping. Maybe I can get it on and off with uh, talking to somebody that knows me and we can compare compare it with uh, on and off or whatever. But uh, just getting out here today, look, I was looking for an excuse to get out here and get on 10 meters. Wish the 10 meter band would have been uh, you know, a little bit more to it today, but um, it wasn't. So all in all, hey, I, like, I, paid, I paid 16 bucks for it. Big deal. You know what I mean? It's something I'll keep in the bag and play with some more. 
Um, don't run out and pay $50 for this thing. If you see one for $16, $17, like the one I got, I bought mine from Walcott Radio. If you want to play around with it, it's worth it. Um, maybe I'll find a way to put this on top of something and use it as a capacitant hat and try it that way and, uh, and, and play around with it. I don't know. But, um, yeah, my final honest thing is it's, it's a gimmick and, uh, I, that's, that's my final answer. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed watching me get out here and, uh, play around on the, you know, with something that, like I said, it's nothing spectacular, but, uh, I had a good time. And like I said, any, even, any, even making a couple DX contacts on a day when the band's bad is, is worth it to get out and, and play around. Anyway, if you enjoy, uh, antennas, playing with antennas, building antennas, uh, me watching me spend my money and buy parts that I shouldn't and that type of thing, please like and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Walt K4OGO73, my friends. Hope to see you soon.